Grade 4 math, number 100, line of symmetry. A line of symmetry divides a shape so each side is a mirror image of the other side. A shape has a line of symmetry if it can be folded so each side matches the other one exactly. We use three different lines to decide if something has symmetry. We use a horizon Okay, like this, you know, with the sun setting, that's a horizontal line. Okay, just think horizon. It goes left and right. We can use a vertical line. Have you thought about a vertical cliff? You know how it goes straight up and down? Well, vertical line goes straight up and down. Or a diagonal line that goes on a slant. So one of these three types of lines is going to help us just to decide if something has symmetry, okay? We ask ourselves if the shape has a vertical line of symmetry. If it does, yes, we're done. We found its line of symmetry. No, it doesn't have a vertical line of symmetry, then we're going to keep going. We ask ourselves, does it have a horizontal line of symmetry, like this? Yes, it does, then we're done. We found its line of symmetry. No, it doesn't, then we're going to keep going. Does it have a diagonal line of symmetry? Like this, or like this. Yes, it does. Okay, we found its line of symmetry. No, it doesn't have a diagonal line of symmetry? Then it doesn't have a line of symmetry. So we have to ask ourselves these three questions to make sure if an item has a line of symmetry or not. Let's take a look at this heart. If I fold this heart in half, it's going to be an exact match, isn't it? In fact, when I take construction paper and I make hearts, I take the folder, the paper, and I fold it in half. And then when I fold the paper in half, I cut out this side, and when I open it back up, I've got a perfect heart. That's how I make hearts for Valentine's Day. Okay? So you can see the line of symmetry here. If I made it going this way, would it match? No, because then the top's got the bump here, and it's fat, and the bottom's got the point. So that's not the line of symmetry. We can tell that that is, right? Does this little shape have a line of symmetry? Is there a way that I could draw a line in this one that would cut it directly in half so that it would match both ways? Yeah, it's got a vertical one, see? If I cut it like that, I'd be able to fold it over and be perfect, wouldn't it? How about this one? Is there a way that I could cut this one and make it a perfect match on each side? No, there's not. If I, even if I cut it on a diagonal, this side has a corner and this side has a round side. If I cut it this way, this side has a bump and this side's straight. See? So this one does not have a line of symmetry. How about this t-shirt? Does that t-shirt have a line of symmetry? I can cut it right down the middle like that and fold it, right? And it would be perfect, wouldn't it? How about this circle? Well, I would be able to fold this circle in any way I wanted, and I would be able to find a line of symmetry, wouldn't I, because it's a circle? No matter which way I folded it, it would end up being perfect on the other side, right? What about this rectangle? I could fold it this way, see? And this side would match that side. I could actually fold it horizontal, too. I could fold this part over this way. So it's got a line of symmetry going this way, and it's got a line of symmetry going this way. Would I be able to fold it on a diagonal? No, because if I folded it on a diagonal across here, this corner would end up over here. Try it with a piece of paper, you'll see. Does this pair of pants have a line of symmetry? Is there a way I could fold it so it would be perfect? If I folded it in half like that, no because then that part's got the waist, and this part has the legs. But I could fold it this way, couldn't I? And it would fold over perfectly, wouldn't it? What about a footprint? Can a footprint have a line of symmetry? Well, this shape is so weird, there is no way that I could fold that to make it perfect. So no, there's no line of symmetry. What about a piece of pizza? Don't worry about what it's got as a topping. Don't worry about that matching. Worry about the outside shape of the pizza. Can a piece of pizza's shape 
be folded? Well, it can't be folded that way, can it? Because that side's fat and that side's skinny. But it could be folded this way, couldn't it? Right down that way, we could cut it and get cut it into two smaller pieces. All right, what about a book? Could a book have a line of symmetry? It kind of does right down the binding, doesn't it? If you open the book exactly to the center, if we opened a book exactly to the center, we'd find its line of symmetry, wouldn't we? If we opened it with 10 pages on this side and 100 pages on that side, it wouldn't be, though, would it? Because that side would be skinnier, right? What about this triangle? Can this triangle have a line of symmetry? Well, you think, well, can I cut it this way? Can I cut it, like, from this vertex through here? No, because it's got a right angle here. And because of that right angle, it's not going to have a line of symmetry. We can't cut it that way or anything. It won't match. What about this triangle? This is called an equilateral triangle, where all the sides are equal. Yeah, we actually could cut it this way. We could cut it on a diagonal this way, and we can actually cut it on a diagonal that way. Either way we folded it, it would end up being the same, because all the sides are the same. Okay. What about the letter V? Is there a way to fold the letter V so it's perfect? Can you see it right down the center here? All right, my line's not that straight, but we could fold a V. We could also fold the U, couldn't we? And it would match with a vertical line. And look, the letter T can be folded, just like the T-shirt, right? Can we fold the letter P to make it perfect on each side? How about this way? No, there's no line of symmetry, is there? What about the letter L? Does the letter L have a line of symmetry? Can we cut it this way and make it so it's equal on both sides? Nope, because that nub, right? How about like that? Nope. How about like that? Nope. So the letter L doesn't have a line of symmetry. How about X? Can you see the line coming down the middle of the X? How about coming this way? Can you see that one? Yeah, so we can go like this or we could go like this, couldn't we? And fold it that way. What about the letter W? Can you see the line of symmetry coming straight down the middle of the W like that? Can we fold it this way? No, because the two top pieces coming up, right? But we could fold it this way and it would be able to be folded over, right? What about an arrow? Does the arrow have a line of symmetry? If I folded it here, no, because then that's got the arrow tip and this has got a straight side, right? But what if I folded it right down the middle like that? Would I be able to make it match? Yeah, if I folded it just right. What about this shape with this curve right here? If I folded it directly in half, would it be a perfect match? Well, it would as far as the oval goes, but because of this slit here, it wouldn't. Because then one side would have the slit and the other side wouldn't, huh? But what if I did it horizontal? Now is, is it going to match? So see, sometimes it won't match vertical, but it will match horizontal. See? How about the letter C? The letter C falls into the same category as this oval. We can't cut it this way, then it, you know, it won't work, but we could cut it this way, couldn't we? And then fold it, and then it would be perfect. What about this shape? Can this shape be folded anyway to make it perfect? Well, we can't do it vertical because of this nub sticking out, and we can't do it horizontal because of that nub sticking up there. But what if we cut it on an angle like that? and folded it. That would work, wouldn't it? So when you're trying to find lines of symmetry, ask yourself the three questions. Can I make a horizontal line that goes across left to right like the horizon? Can I make a vertical line that goes up and down like a vertical cliff? Or can I make diagonal lines? Just because you can't make one of them, don't quit because you might be able to make one of the other ones like the letter C, right? Or like this funny oval with the slit, right? So ask yourself the three questions. It'll help you discover if something's got a line of symmetry or not and if one side is a mirror image of the other. I'll see you next video. Bye.